Yes, yes, sorry. Yeah, you can follow me to, uh, to the Sorry, elevators. For your safety, please vacate the area. Thank you for your cooperation. Arcane Zone, Elliot T and Mr. Samwise can go in this one. In front of me. Gotcha. Initiating ship Take it to procedure. Hangar 7. Safety, 0 7. Area. Thank you for your cooperation. Bonsai, say, uh, well, Karamito, <laughs> Blue Screen and Seraphos, you can go in this elevator. And take it to Hangar 07. Seraphos, you do not have anything. You do not have a t-shirt or whatever. <laughs> what? For me, you only have pants on. Yes. No, 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 no. That must be wrong. Bad. See them gains. Uh, for God's sake. Do you need something, Seraphos? No, no, no. That's fine. Okay. Weird stuff happening again. I have a t-shirt with me if you like. I, um... Mr. Samwise and Elliot can get on the elevator. Only two no. people at a time because I don't want anyone dying. <laughs> Does <laughs> anyone of you guys wear a space suit or understuit? What? No, I don't have one. Real Is one this there, better? <laughs> yes. I would recommend uh, putting some of your space suit equipment, maybe some medical pens and, and other stuff you want to take in the ship inventory. Uh, what blue the screen heck? and arcane, uh, arcane stone. I have jacket pocket and hip pockets. That's interesting. That's new. Yeah, I put. <clears throat> I can put this in. It's too big. I can put. A medical pen in my jackpot. Jack oh, Carmito and bonsai tree. Or oh, Sabre Dolfo. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're called. Whatever. Ship. And yeah, I about the ship. Have they fixed the um the seats are fixed. The the jacuzzi. Oh no, that's close. Ah. To the passengers I would uh, like you to get into the back uh, the passenger compartment of the vessel. That's towards the back. Most people are already inside. So, oh, we are lifting off, or departing, from Lauraville, Hudson's capital. Tarazza. If you... Nice, nice. <laughs> nice to it. Thank yes. you. Nice replica. replica. Shh. If you look to more... <laughs> if you I'm look wearing to... this to honor the heroes. If you look towards the starboard side or right side of the ship, you can see the headquarters building of Hurston Dynamics. Also the business district. We also have a bartender today. A uh, bartender ring, including f probably food and drinks, is available whilst not in quantum. The bartender can hear you, but uh, will only communicate via chat. 
So yeah, Bartonic can hear you. But doesn't talk back. Except in chat. Okay. Welcome aboard this W5 Starliner. Today's tour is around Hurston or Stanton 1. It will be uh, lore focused. It will hopefully take only about two hours. Um, the basic rules of the ship are passengers are prohibited in the front part of the ship and the back part of the ship, so please stay in the passenger compartment. This mainly because I don't want anything weird to happen in the cockpit and uh, the fighter in the back is missing and I don't want any, anyone falling out. Uh, you're free to explore the passenger part of the ship. If you have any questions about lore or lore related stuff, you can ask me them. Uh, you can ask them to me, whatever. Um, and we will, yeah, I will uh, tell Hurston Law on like a regular basis and we'll go from location to location. So only Hurston Dynamics Law, no Microtech and that kind of stuff lore. That's, those are different tours. Just general stuff as well, like what went wrong. <laughs> as, as in, what went wrong? What do you mean? <laughs> I mean, it's kind of obvious that it's not the super earth we were promised. Oh no, it's my death. most definitely isn't. <laughs> Well, but yes, that will also. Uh, Huston or Center One is a super Earth, lore wise. In game, it's actually a bit smaller. <laughs> super Earth. Is it just like just Super Earth by size, or like the properties of the planet? Super Earth is just, as far as I know, just an Earth-like planet which has uh, comparable gravity and is evil for humans like humans can live on them oh, okay. but I don't know why it's called super because our planets can't be that that much much bigger because well gravity but they actually yeah. call them super earths in, sci in science so Mm. Yes. A super Earth is any extrasolar planet that has um, a, a mass higher than Earth's. Well, apparently Earth has a mass higher than Earth. Seems like it. I guess that could be just like it's it's a normal Earth like planet and then you put a spaceship on it and then it's the super Earth. Is a few more kilo. It, it it might have a more metallic, uh, well, both <laughs> more more metals in in atmosphere and ground. A mm -hmm. the the term super earth has nothing to do with its with its uh, habitability. Oh, that, that's that's interesting. Yes, I guess only but only Terra planets, I guess, right? Because otherwise. It, I mean, I wouldn't call a gas giant a super Earth. I'll try to be quick. So do people mine on this planet a lot? Or any other materials on there that can be found? As far as I know, Ariel is not a popular mining location, but I you could probably mine here. 
uh, mining on Hurston and in the Hurston system is most people like to. Uh, I know quite a few people who like to uh, ROC mine on Aberdeen, but that's the next moon. I don't really know <clears throat> about um, Ariel, but if you have, have <clears throat> Jesus, if you have more questions about that, you could ask in this organization because we have a mining sector. They do a lot of mining, and there are quite a few people there who probably know a an better answer to this question. I myself have maybe mined like two or three times. Yeah, being quick, it doesn't always work. I've <laughs> tried that. If anyone has a backpack, we can place down the backpack. Uh, no, didn't bring one. Energy beer. That sucks. Liquor is already <laughs> despawned. Well, fast. The liquor poofed. <laughs> yeah. Uh. They, kind of, they kind of ruined the drink stuff again, which is really annoying. It was working really well on 3.15, I enjoyed it. But then they. Uh, Decide to change it. No, so, the game is being uh, really annoying with the missiles. I can't actually restock. Ah, oh, I've noticed that too. <laughs> they all the constellations have the same issue. Dang. My flag like missiles. Is repair, uh, I have a sentinel, and one of the the engines blew off of it. Now it won't come back even after climbing it. <laughs> A character reset can't fix that. Yeah. Yeah, it's oh, no. it's annoying. <laughs> you can see the sun on the starboard side. That's great. Yeah, that's a screenshot right there. Well, no, it's the port side. Yeah, that's port side. <laughs> hey, you know what? I'm debating on just uh, telling a lot of lore. Yeah, but I sure. don't know if you guys are interested in that. Not really about Hurston that much. Go Hurston for it. Go for it. Done that much. Give it to us. Yeah, I geek out on lore. Well, are you? Are you guys interested in like general lore? Interested in lore like Tumbril, for example? Tumbril has some cool lore. Uh, I know. Like yeah. anything. Just give it to us, Bob. Yeah, Tumbril. Like, do, do you guys? Hmm? Who was saying something? I said, uh, Tom Brawl, you mean the, like the vehicles? Yeah, the vehicle company. Okay. Uh, I'm up for anything. Oh, I just. I love lore in general. Are you guys familiar with, like, the main events in human history over the last 900 years? Uh, so basically, since 2000? Uh, very vaguely, honestly. But I don't want to. Okay, I'm gonna try doing a quick rundown. <laughs> Basically, uh, in 2038, Robert Space Industries got f founded by a random guy called Chris Roberts. Woo, where do I know that name from? Never heard. Wow, you gotta be kidding me. Yeah, ex <laughs> it's actually like actual lore. Um, <laughs> he started the company with. Oh, you can actually see the surface now, by the way. The company started with producing, like, um, how do you say that? Vehicle batteries, basically, for ground vehicles. Normal, like, cars. <laughs> we went from cars to this? Well, that's 2038. We're now in 2952. That's like 900 years ago. Some humble beginnings, though. 
Yep. Um, yeah, after Robert Space Industries got founded in... Uh, in 2044, a very, very big artificial intelligence accident happened. This is one of the reasons why, to us in the 21st century, the 29th century in Star Citizen seems so underdeveloped. Because artificial intelligence is not allowed. This is uh, because of accidents such as the accident in 2044. This was an accident, uh, the lemming car accident in Tokyo, in which AI made a basically a big mistake and a lot of cars crashed at the same time because the uh, self-driving cars because of the uh, traffic signs and traffic information got messed up this killed a lot of people we don't know exactly how many but probably in the hun in the hundreds what's tokyo in tokyo yes on earth hey i believe we have landed Yes, we have landed. If you would like to take a look outside, which I can recommend, you do need a spacesuit, preferably one who can, which can take high temperatures. If you don't have that, you will be able to survive uh, for like five to ten minutes, so you'll be fine. If you want to go outside, you're now um, you have permission to come into the front part of the ship. Mr. Samwise and uh, El Carmito or Saber Dodfo, you can stand on the elevator. I recommend walking towards the right the sun is already like down basically, but you can. Uh, there's a nice dead tree there. <laughs> Blue screen and Elliot. Oh, wait, I have to call it first. I forgot to call. My bad. Speed run. <laughs> yep. Please get off the elevator. Good to go. Everfoss, you may go. The server 30k. What? No, what? you. Uh, you personally 30k because everything is working for us. Fuck. Your internet decided to die, basically. <laughs> because I can still use everything and everyone is walking around and stuff, so. What the hell? Why is there no air there? <laughs> Come on, CIG. <laughs> but who Where's just uh, who just got kicked? Um, bonsai tree. Yes. Ah, uh, that sucks. Yeah, you're also not in the ship anymore. You're in the star, basically your marker. Wait, did two people get thirty k? Painstone as well as it seems. Yeah. What the hell? That's weird. Yeah. Probably because of jump down and server being like, oh. Even though it's quite an empty server, it's still. I'm back. <laughs> the the engineer's uh, screenshots are awesome. <laughs> I mean, you, you could have waited until I was dressed. What's that planet that we can see in the distance? Probably Hurston. Where do you see it? Like, That's what Hurston. direction? Uh, in front of the cockpit. Like, if you look forward, out of the cockpit. Yeah, yeah that, that will be Hurston. Oh, 
Really? Yep. Ew. Can you tell something about uh, trees? Tree like uh, stuff that we can see at the moons of the person. There isn't any law specifically on the trees itself, as far as I know. Um, but this is a bit extreme <laughs> place for them to exist. And the grass, well, yeah, grass they too. they they existed here until Hurston Dynamics came around and decided to basically destroy the atmosphere partially, and so the trees died. I'm gonna get dressed out of sight. Oh. I would like everyone to get back to the ship. The engineer this time. If you got kicked, you can still get back towards us. We can meet up in space, probably. I forgot my own spacesuit, so I'll just... Uh... Would, would you like a one of mine? I, I brought two. No. I don't actually have to go outside, so... If I do need to go outside, I would like one. Yeah, sure. Is everyone on board? I believe so, except the people who got kicked. Please, uh, you can like put on your normal normal clothing again. The moon. Ooh. Ah, uh, okay. Hurston is a lot lower, so we weren't actually able to see that. So in twenty one twenty, seven years after Robert Space Industries patented the. Uh, I hope <laughs> quantum <laughs> engaging quantum travel within five seconds. Okay, so seven years after uh, Robert Space Industries patented the uh, terraforming technology, the first attempt at terraforming Mars begins. Old Renatus city center marks the first landing point and base camp on Mars. In 2125, at uh, exactly 480, at exactly 480, no, 438 EST, the Mars tragedy happened. The Mars tragedy was a big accident uh, with the terraforming. The terraforming was almost finished on Mars, but then all of a sudden, something, something just happened which basically, within minutes, ruined the entire atmosphere again. Probably a chemical reaction. Something went totally wrong. Also, uh, the, the terraforming was an artificial intelligence uh, terraforming thing. So, once again, an accident happened, uh, which was under the control of artificial intelligence. This March tragedy killed 4,876 workers. Yeah. Sounds awful. Um, can I come back to you on deck? I'm currently 7 kilometers here to you. Uh, how far are you? Uh, right well... If you look outside the starboard window, you can see a bonsai tree floating around. Oh, I didn't even notice. It's coming up fast. Uh, um, yes, yeah. you can you can come close to the ship. Uh, oh, wait. Never mind, it's the port side. Yeah, it's port side. Uh, you can enter via the top hatch. There is right above the elevator, there is a hatch. Which is quicker than the elevator, so you can basically just EVA in. And see anything that's nice. After the uh, Mars tragedy happened, the Mars uh, terraforming started again. But it was a lot slower because it had to be controlled by humans because they weren't using artificial intelligence again. So only normal computers and humans. Um, but can if... you? I'm sorry. Hmm? Yes. Um, can you s stop? You're moving. I'm asking the pilot. Yes. We should have stopped. Yes. You can enter via the top hatch. 
It should be opened. Yeah, even the park is all. I can't open it. By the way, is our our uh, what's he called again? Arcane Stone. Is he still? He seems to still be missing. Oh, he's in the e voice channel, so he's hearing the law. There you go. Maybe. Thanks. Hello. Hello, hello. Welcome back. Mm, what's important? My brain. <laughs> Oh yeah, in 20... Wait, I don't actually... Wait, I have to look that up. 25-8, the Terra system gets discovered. Which is nowadays basically Sol, but bigger. Because Terra is bigger than Earth, and a lot of people live on that Terra. More than on Earth. There's more people on Terra, you said? Uh, yes, Terra is a bigger planet. Uh, Terra is basically the main hub of the Empire nowadays. It's still called the, M the United Empire of Earth, but Terra doesn't actually Terra is like, not Earth. like that. Hmm? Terra is not Earth, if that's no, what you it's mean. Not. Yes, Terra is the Greek name for Earth, but it's not our Earth. No, it, it's not. It's a bigger, another planet, a bigger Earth in the Terra system. It's quite special because they discovered it and realized that it was basically almost done to just go live on it. There was already natural oxygen in the atmosphere. Wow. Does, uh, does New York City still exist? Yes, New York, City, New York City is one of the main landing zones on Earth. Let's go. Represent. <laughs> Wait, where are we? Looks blue. We are at Magda. I always like this planet. Moon, whatever. Oh yeah, <laughs> there's quite an important thing in twenty uh in twenty four eighty no, twenty four thirty eight humanity makes first contact with an alien species, the Banu species, in the Davian system. It we were quite lucky because the guy who found them actually opened fire and fired a shot. But the Banu decided to not fire back. And uh, after firing its, uh, his first shots, the guy who uh, discovered or got first contact <laughs> realized that it wasn't a human and was like, what the hell is this? <laughs> and they called in the first contact commission, which was already set up in case it would ever happen. And so we became friends with the Banu species. Or, well, trading partners, maybe not friends. Han shot first. <laughs> he did. Wait, do we have a breathable atmosphere here? No. Uh, oh yeah, I didn't even tell the lore about Magda. <laughs> well, this is Magda. Uh, it's the third moon of Hurson and named after the CEO. Magda Hurson, who made the decision to buy Stanton 1, now Hurson, from the United Empire of Earth. Magda is the uh, mother of the, was the mother of the current CEO, Gavin E. Hurson. Magda has a thin atmosphere of about 0 0.3 atmospheres. It's toxic for humans because it doesn't contain oxygen. And its soil has some nice blue or red Martian like colors. And the atmosphere is uh, very blue. Cyan, oh, bluish. Um, is that why? Uh, right, that on Earth, you call there are three main um, landing ports: mm -hmm. Moscow, New York, and Shanghai. Mos, yeah, Moscow, New York, Shanghai on Earth. Excited for this. 
<laughs> I can almost guarantee you that you will have to wait another 15 years. <laughs> yeah, probably. I mean, yeah. Um, there's a cutlass black. Uh -huh. Oh, that's interesting. Where is that arcane? He might be back. And like... our starboard side. Oh yeah, I think that's arcane. I'll try inviting him if, or maybe he just doesn't have a marker. Yeah. No, he actually is not in the party. No one has a marker for me. Second, technically. Uh, yeah. So the Mesa era was kind of stupid, they killed each other at a certain point and everyone got unhappy with them, other species and humans. Then uh, in 2782, the tipping point happened. Um, when uh, the Garen Massacre happened. The Garen Massacre was a an incident in which uh, a terraforming company Owned by the cousin of the current impa Imperator, uh, or Mazer. Um, they started terraforming... They started terraforming a planet with, which had uh, life on it. Senten sentinel life. So that is like human life, but in earlier stages. Mm. Well, of course, this species didn't survive that, including all other life on the planet. Everything just got genocided, and people recorded it. And it spread across the Empire in on insane speed. And within weeks, the, uh, the UEE fell, and we... Or the Mazars fell, and uh, we... Changed into our current po poli uh, politic system. Still right. unite the Empire of Earth, but now with a the Democrats voted Imperator, in kind of Democrat. So, the UEE is like Great Britain now. What do you mean? I mean it's a democratic monarchy. More or less. Mm, no, it's more no because there aren't like the measures are totally gone. It's just a president now. You so could how much it's... imperator can decide things? So, so it's not really an empire anymore. Well, no, it isn't. In my opinion, the star citizen politics don't make any sense. I don't like them. Oh, the lore, lore is cool, but the it, I don't know the politics system. It's kind of weird. Although it's basically real a, uh, life politics don't make sense either. Which that's that's definitely true. But these make no sense in that they are just unrealistic. They wouldn't happen like this. They well politics will always be kind of stupid because we're humans. <laughs> but but real it wouldn't happen in this way. And the you can compare the uh, star citizen politic system to uh, basically the Roman Empire because if you fight in the army you get citizenship, you can vote for the Imperator basically the same idea if you're a civilian you don't have any votes so it's kind of democratic wow you can't vote if you're not in the military you can't vote if you haven't been in the military. I don't know that. Or did something else important for the UEE, like discovering a system, that kind of stuff. Is the military like voluntary, or is there like some mandatory conscription? The uh, voluntary. Oh, wow. So it's, like it's voluntary, but if you want to be a better class citizen, you, you join it, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Otherwise, you're just a normal civilian. Okay, so in 2681, we get first contact with the Vendul. They are immediately hostile, and we are still at war with them. Are we winning? Not really. 
not yet. We are kind of pushing back now, but we have been pushed back quite a few systems over the last uh, few hundred years. I'm surprised they kept it up that long, 300 years. Well, space is big. <laughs> That's true. And there aren't like hard lines, you can just fly underneath, if you get what I mean. You can't really set up a barricade and just shoot at each other because, of, because well, space. <laughs> yeah, after the, uh, Xia, uh, the Messer ever fell, um, the, we got better uh, communication with Xi'an and such, and nowadays we're not really hostile against the Xi'an anymore. But couldn't you, like, blockade the jump points? Oh yeah, you can, but not if you don't know where the jump points are from where oh, the Vendu are coming. And that happened multiple times. So basically there's a major jump points and smaller ones, right? Yes. And there are like several ways to this system, even in Stanton. Yes. And there might be even more if there's one like somehow not found, which is quite <clears throat> probably not possible in the Stanton system because it's small. Yeah, what happened after the Messners fell and the Vendor War started? Not really that much important. Well, everything, technology got better. Uh, modern companies like Origin and stuff got founded. <clears throat> Most companies are uh, are from post Messer era, because um, because the well, there's basically a big purge of companies after the uh, Messer era fell or the Messers fell because a lot of people got mad at c companies who helped out the Messers. And so a lot of companies were disbanded, basically. This made, yeah, there were a lot of new companies after that happened, and so most modern companies are quite new, except some companies like Robert Space Industries, uh, Argo Cargo, <laughs> Argo. Um, I believe Aegis is older, Anvil too. Hmm. I'm back. Hello, welcome back. We're at the last moon. If you look to the uh, through the port side window, you can see Eta. Eta is named after uh, Eta is named after Eta Hersen. Eta Hersen died in the first Tavaran War, and they named the moon after Eta to remind everyone of why the projects of Hersen Dynamics are so important. Eta has a thin atmosphere of about one, uh, 0.15 atmospheres. It's toxic for humans. Uh, and the temperatures are above freezing, but quite doable. So not, not, it's not actually that hot on this moon. If you look through the top window, you can see the moon shooting by. And we will be going down to the surface. Now the question becomes, we can land here, we can just take a look around, or we can... Uh... Just a second. Or we can... Can we? <laughs> Yes, we can drive around in vehicles if you guys want to. As a bit of a lore break, because the big Hurston lore is still coming. Sounds pretty fun. Yeah, and most yeah. major, I've covered most major, like, lore. So, most important stuff to remember is 2075, Quantum Drive. Um... The Banu were discovered as the first species, or in, in first contact, basically. We terraformed Mars in 2157. We found jump points. Nick Rocha found jump points. Um, 
AI is banned because of uh, a lot of accidents, such as the Artemis, the Mars tragedy, and the big car crash in Tokyo. Uh, the first of our in war. Uh, yeah, what it is, yeah, it's a war with another species in 20... Oh, God damn it, I constantly forgot the dates. So many dates. Twenty, yeah, twenty-five, forty-one. The first Tavarian War started. And the first Tavarian War also uh, uh, oops, also sparked the Mazar era because uh, one major person who was quite heroic was Ivan Mazar, and he uh, became the Mazar and turned. I'm sorry, I. Is jump down friendly? <laughs> Stop asking that question. No. <laughs> yes? Okay. After the first of Iron War, 50 years later, uh, the Mesa era had started and the second of Iron War started. It ended with the uh, Tavaran fleet crashing into their home planet. After that, we also uh, we also found Ixian, and we also found the Vandul. The Vandul were immediately hostile. In 2792, the Messer era came to an end uh, because of the massacre of Garen, the sentinel species getting terraformed and dying. And after that, yeah, not much happened except the Vandul war. And more recent things like Stanton. I think that's a short summary of most important lore I can give you. Damn. It's still a lot. Hmm? So that's a lot. Well, it's a lot of lore, but it isn't. It really isn't a lot of lore, if you get what I mean. There is a whole lot more. Even if you know all, all the details about the stuff I just said, you probably know, like, I don't know. You know the most important lore, but you probably only know, know like 10%. I mean, I can literally go tell you lore about drinks and stuff. Do we actually have the... Drinks? Yes, drinks. They made lore about some, like, companies. Do we actually have this? Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. So... Oh, how... we do! What, what? I'm sorry. We do have Trice Cordial. Uh, I'm behind the bar. By the way, we are currently at an outpost. I believe we have landed. If you want to, you can just... Or not yet landed, but we will land soon. Um, you can go out here and get a vehicle and drive around if you want to. I can also spawn basically any vehicle except tank and ballista. Oh. Why? Gr uh, sharp stones. Okay. Uh, you are such a bollock sometimes. <laughs> well, if you're at Grimhex, uh, can't you just reset the uh, reset your uh, bat location? Yes. Then I'm, then I am at New Babbage. Oh. Yes. Why, why would you be at New Babbage? Because he likes it there. Don't don't question. Um. Blue uh, screen. Yep. Uh, I w please mute if you're watching something. So, we talked about Tumbril. Does anyone want a Cyclone? Yeah, a Cyclone would be great. Um, Ar Arcane, I don't know if you can hear me. Try pl uh, pressing the F, holding the F key, pressing the right mouse uh, button, and doing any kind of emote. You can find them under like player actions, actions. Doing an emote should fix the issue. I have a quad despawned. Ah, yes, yeah, sorry. Sorry, you were too close to the pad, probably. Uh, there's a cyclone on pad 2. Please move it off of the pad, and I'll try to watch out next time for the hover quad. Well, I blew up. <laughs> oh no, oh, the, the Havoc got impounded. Nice. 
Who blew up? <laughs> yeah, Elliot did. Oh. I, uh, I hit a... I bottomed out on a crater pretty, pretty hard. <laughs> you're further in the floor, that's interesting. For us, you're just standing normally. Yeah, Arcane seems to uh, have a bit of a rubber banding issue, whatever you would call it. How are you? Oh yeah, you are in the floor. Is there something we need to say from the uh, your body corpse? Uh, no, you're good. No, nothing special on it. Who died? Uh, Elliot. Where are you spawning? Uh, back at Everest Harbor. Okay. So I can meet you guys there or back here, whichever is easiest. Can you still not move, Arkane? I try doing emotes and such. Not helmet and equip a bit like dance or something. Player actions. Em emotes. Ah, oh, god damn it, you can't emote. You're really bugged then. Would anyone like a Grey Cat PTV? Um. Push Alt X. Maybe that help. Whoa. Hey. hey, Bob. Have I'm you trying driven. To... What? Have you driven a Greyhead PTV yet? Um, I have 12 in my inventory. I have. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Alright, I'll just record it and then just get my knocks out. For who? For me, bonsai. Yes, yes. Oh yeah, bonsai died died first, I think. Yeah, but you'll be, be here like pretty yeah, quick. I, yeah, I'm nine million kilometers away from Hurston. Yeah, that's uh, that's close fine. Enough. Did you call a 100i? No. Yes, I did. Oh. Oh, you can get it, on the other side, Arcane. It's wait, a two seater. That still works. It does. That's bullshit. Well, I... yeah. I can't even call my Pisces or... or the Merlin. Yeah, that's kind of weird. <laughs> the 100i... oh yeah, no, sure. But no I uh, decided to get the 100i out in case anyone like loses their vehicle so I can pick them up quick. What moon are you guys on again? Uh, Ita, the fourth uh, moon of Hurson. Oh shit. Four. There we go. Who just exploded? It's, it's oh. Me, Sabe. <laughs> well. But I won't uh, take it into the... Phoenix. If you're done, you can uh, get into the Phoenix again. Just use the elevator. Max... Uh, max two people at a time. Random rejoin. Okay, some uh, basic information about the landing zone and uh, spaceport. Everest Harbor. In Everest Harbor, you can find a cassava outlet, a clothing store, a platinum bay for ship parts, and some armor and tool shops in the Galleria and Cargo Center. Uh, it also has a food court, but Everest Harbor does not have a uh, frame. Uh, First person does not have a personal weapon store because Hurston doesn't want any personal weapon stores in their jurisdiction. In Lorville, uh, you can find New New Deal. Uh, that's one of the only two ship, ship shops in or ship dealerships in stand in the Santon system. You can find it in Tisa Spaceport. You can also rent ships in the uh, spaceport. 
you can find Hurston Weapons, uh, the Hurston Weapons store in the central business district where you can buy their laser weapons, ship weapons. You can uh, find the residential building at the plaza of the workers district. You can also find a bar, uh, McIntyre and Vic Victor's bar, an armor and clothing shop, a scrap processing center, uh, reclamation and disposal, and the uh, Maria Pure of Heart Hospital, soon TM, the administration office, a security building, and Lefson Station in the Workers' District. You can also take uh, the city transport, which is basically just very fast trams, to the gates of the, to the city gates where you can spawn vehicles. Question. Yes. Are you going to talk about shanty towns? Mm, no. I don't think so. Hold on. I'm coming back. I mean, they have like. There are like shanty towns, aren't there? At one of the gates or something? Yeah, they're near, near the gates. Yeah, I will include that in uh, my in one of my dis discovery tours. I don't think I've ever been to the gates of Hurston. I'm sorry, what? I don't think I've ever been to the gates on Hurston. Now that I think about it. Well, they're pretty cool, and these shanty towns are cool too, but at this 40 discovery tour. <laughs> discovery tours will be more focused on sightseeing and activities. But that is for the future, because they will take longer to make. They will take longer in general, probably. Uh, would the uh, activity be like avoid getting murdered in shanty town? Maybe some kind of game with with shooting at the end, but not before before the end. But yes, more games like racing and stuff with a eight inch jump because of a respawn. More focused on just a, I don't know, organized game, organized games, I guess. and discovering uh, hidden stuff, which most people don't know about. Special biomes, the canyons on Hurston, that kind of stuff. If you look through the windows, you can see the Hurston Ocean below us. This is an ocean. Okay, so now we're actually at Hurston. Hurston Dynamics uh, was one of the highest bidding mega corporations when the United Empire of Earth decided to sell the four planets and their moons in the standard system. Um, they decided to sell these planets because they needed money for the Vendul War and for the... Um, for the... Synthroid Project. The Synthroid project is a project that started after the um, Messers fell because of the massacre of Garen. Um, because we kind of wanted to show we're a better species now, we can make our own planet instead of <laughs> instead of terraforming a planet and killing other life on it. And yes, making a planet as in building a planet from literally nothing. What the hell? I just I think we just landed on a tree or something. <laughs> no, it's just tilted. 
angle terrain. Mo, well, we have landed. You are safe to get out even without a spacesuit. Temperatures and will be safe and you can breathe here. But if you want to stay a bit healthier, I do recommend using a rebreather. Hurston Dynamics is a weapons manufacturer and they got Stanton in 2865, I believe. The planet's ecosphere has been largely destroyed by the activities of the corporation. It is very dry, except for its oceans, and heavily polluted. This because they test their weapons on anything. As they just kind of test their weapons on this planet, they build stuff from which these ruins come. Uh, they build stuff and they blow it up. Uh, they have also strip mined the entire planet with enormous facilities, but they just uh, destroyed the facilities to test more weapons once they had strip mined the entire planet. That is why you see these big wreckages on the coastline. Only some plants and trees are uh, in some certain locations left, like here. The atmosphere is very Earth-like. You can also breathe here. It reaches up to about 100 kilometers. Who just exploded? I just saw a faint explosion in the background. Yeah. <laughs> and some wreckage over there. Revla vehicles do not fly on water. Oh, is that what you were trying? Yes. Yeah, they don't. <laughs> so, some more lore about Hurston, uh, the planet. Hurston actually has, as you now can see, some flora and fauna. Partially in indigenous and partially imported. So I don't know if these trees are actually from Hurston itself. They might just come from another planet and get placed on here. Um, and Hurston mainly exists out of uh, a lot of deserts and hot grassland biomes and environments. There are some life forms on Hurston, like the Xiphopod, uh, or the Blind Oni Crab, which is an alien species indigenous to Lear 1. It's a soft-shelled invertebrate, uh, invertebrate omnivore. It's extremely light, especially for its size, and able to float and propel itself. It's very it's basically Gravlav, but an animal. Hmm. The blind Oni crab name came from the surveyors who discovered these species, inspired by the face and uh, face and nose that can be discerned in the animal's front. Ca car carapace. Carapace. <laughs> Jesus. The species is able to adapt to extreme conditions and is now also living on Hurston. Of course. Hey. They aren't in game yet because of well, CNG. They did show them in uh, a demo of Lorville back in the day <laughs> before Lorville was actually released. But they were fake, I guess. Dude, okay. <laughs> Hurston Dynamics ex itself is well, a weapons manufacturer. It was founded in 2480, 2438 by Solomon Hurston when he bought a struggling laser manufacturer on Earth. He called it Hurston Dynamics and was the CEO of Hurston Dynamics until 2488. That's a long time. 40 years. Hurston Dynamics ha had a big role in the development of the first power lasers for space defense platforms, or in other words, energy weapons. Uh, they got even bigger in the times of the First Tavarian War and became the main standard munition warheads and the third largest refiner of antimatter precursor. They, can, uh, uh, they also make a lot of uh, weapon systems like energy weapons, such as the dominance and attrition uh, energy weapons, which you can buy at the central business district in Lorville. The third CEO of Hurston, Ariel Hurston, you know, the, the moon Hurston, uh, Ariel. Uh, Ariel Hurston invented the life labor style contracts Hurston still uses to this day. It is basically a way of... Enslaving uh, way of, people. Yeah, it's a way of making... Uh, kind of legally making employees servers instead of 
servants instead of workers and remove a lot of their rights. You're basically signing your life away to Hurston when you sign such a contract. Hurston Dynamics has one of the lowest work and worker satisfaction ratings in the UEE, only 0.5 out of 10. The UEE doesn't do anything about this because Hurston Dynamics is so important to its military. Magda Hurston bought Stanton 1 in 2865 or something and founded Lorville. Hurston uses its planet to do everything from strip mining to testing weapons to uh, on the wildlife even to just <laughs> throwing all their uh, all their production trash into the ocean. The atmosphere is so badly polluted that it is a good idea to use a rebreather to stay healthy. Their planet and the moons too, as you saw in Aberdeen, uh, have become wastelands. There are a lot of people fighting against Hurston Dynamics and their way of ignoring UEE law, the treatment of employees and the treatment of their planet. I myself am also not really a Hurston Dynamics liker, but lore-wise, of course. They kind of just suck as a company, basically. Did the weather just clear up? It did. Well, that's basically uh, all Hurston lore. If you have any questions, you can ask them. And otherwise, enjoy the views. Watch out the water. Yeah, uh, do, do that. Um, there is a con. The, uh, uh, there's a contract out. Oh, you can meet the currently uh, CEO of Hurston Dynamics. You mean the guy in the office? Yes. That's, that's not, not the CEO. That's not the CEO. That's uh, a lower ranked Hurston Dynamics family member. Yes, he's a cousin. Mm -hmm. No, it's it's stated. Well, it's, it's stated in the uh, contract briefing that he's a cousin of the current CEO. Ah, okay. Well, in case you don't have much time left or just uh, and are totally done, you can uh, already leave. If not, we'll head back to Lorville. Or no, actually, we'll wait for mm. me. We'll probably head back to Everest Harbor. Yeah. Or, or... Um... I was kicked from the server. Damn it. Well, we're done. Uh, this was basically the lore tour. I hope you guys learned something and can somehow remember some information. Like the first of Arnoir and such. Because it's always weird if people are wearing the uh, first of Arnoir clothing and don't even know what the first of Arnoir is. I took this everyone yeah. on board. Yeah, totally. So you shouldn't do this for free. Well, I will keep the lore tours free, even though I will change them up and make them compact with more lore and less activities. And then I will make the um, last landing and less landing, basically. And I will make the uh, discovery tours charged. Oh, right, nice. Malfi, yeah, of course. The crew also got tips, but... Yeah, but they also get standard payment. Oh, oh my god, careful with that bandit defender, whoever that is. Yeah, sorry. Wait, d don't you have a marker for me anymore? Nope, I don't. Well, I get paid in ships, I mean, I have a phoenix, and I have access, direct access to a an 890 jump. That's true. So, that's... Still. Payment, in my opinion, until I can actually buy the ship, uh, the ships myself. As always, kudos. Very, very nice uh, tour. It's meant to be relaxing, and I hope I got that goal. Yes. Of being a relaxing kind of gameplay instead of the normal adrenaline star citizen gameplay, except maybe cargo hauling. Yeah, that's that's uh, sleep inducing as well. Yeah. And well, only cargo uh, cargo hauling is a bit perfect for Sunday night. It's it's way less interesting than what you did. 
That's one way to look at it. Yeah, it sounds like a hover quad when it hits the water. <laughs> yes, they, they don't work on water. It's really funny because you tried that and like like two hours before the tour on the Star Citizen Reddit. Did we just get hit? Oh, yeah, something uh, no. came and oh. hit us from oh, behind. Yeah. That came really How? fast. Okay. Well, the weirdest oh. thing is the fact that we are standing inside the Phoenix as is, as is yeah. if yeah. Nothing, nothing is happening. Blacked out. It's fine, just normal Tuesday. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> there was I someone am. crashing into us. Yes, came just from from the five o'clock and hit us. I, I blame desync. This looks hilarious. Did Sorry. you crash us, Zaratos? I mean, it, it it was a very close flyby, and I still blame desync. It's not recoverable. Yeah, uh, it's star citizen should, should be. Rest in peace. Wait, 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 wait. Come on. If you oh. launch me. <laughs> I should put a crush on the other side. Well, um, to all passengers, thanks a lot for participating. Once again, if you have screenshots, please post them in the screenshots channel. Oh, it got stored. <laughs> if, you, <laughs> if you don't have access to the screenshots channel or can post there, you can also send them to me. What if you're interested. If you are, or to the pub, yeah. If you are, but preferably to me personally. If you are interested in more tours, uh, also send me a message mm -hmm. with your ping. If you, uh, yeah, if you want to be in the ping list, which is just getting a message when I plan a tour. If you don't want to be pinged for the Hussein lore tour, do like write it down because otherwise I will forget and not write it down, and you'll get pinged for the Hussein lore tour. <laughs> 